Hello everyone, welcome to Oxmoor Toyota. I'm Gabrielle here with Kenny. You guys, we have a very exciting video to do for you all. We have the first ever Grand Highlander. This is so awesome. And you guys, the trim that we have is the Platinum. Now, speaking of the trims, this will come in three. So you'll have the XLE, the Limited, and the Platinum. And you can get it in the front wheel drive or the all wheel drive. And there are definitely some other options that we'll get to in a second. I mean, I guess we could start talking about MPG, but <laughs> yeah. this vehicle is not about the MPG. It'll give you all the great Toyota quality, but we really want to talk about how grand this Grand Highlander is. Massive space improvement. Third row like you've never seen before mm -hmm. in something other than other SUVs that just have gas guzzlers. Right, so exactly. all the great safety sense with Toyota. There are, we aren't even gonna talk about how many cup holders there are. How many? <laughs> I, see there I are believe there's 13. 13 <laughs> cup holders, see? First minute, you've already learned something about cup holders. So we're gonna jump in, we'll go around it for just a minute, but we're gonna jump in because that's really where all the fun is with this vehicle and show it off to you. All right, Kenny, let's go. So Gabrielle, I think one of the things that's really exciting is you and I were scheduled to go to Cincinnati to the Toyota region to shoot the video on the first Highlander, but guess what? We got the Grand Holler before they did. So <laughs> let's get into it. We did, yeah. So you guys, you can definitely tell that this is different styling. It does not look like the Highlander. It really does look more like a RAV4 on the top right here. It is bigger, better. This is gonna have your panoramic view camera. You can see that camera right there underneath that Toyota symbol. You're gonna have this beautiful kind of chrome detailing around that front. You're gonna have your LED lights, absolutely gorgeous. And at the bottom, you are going to have your LED fog lights and then those dark accents. So moving around to the side, you're gonna have 20 inch wheels. They look very nice. Gabrielle, here's where I think you start to see a little bit of difference if this is the Grand Highlander. Mm -hmm. You kind of see the scale of it, especially compared to those 20 inch wheels. Yeah. Those would just uh, dwarf, you know, a regular Highlander in most cases. Completely agree with you. All right, guys, so let's look on up. You are gonna have your roof rack rails. You can do your skis, sky, uh, kayaks, anything. All right, so the back of this is gorgeous. I absolutely love this. So. Your exhaust is hidden. It has more of a very clean look. You're gonna have your all-wheel drive because this one is all-wheel drive, that's in the chrome. And then your Grand Highlander. It's not, you know, super gaudy. It's kind of in the same color of the vehicle. Looks really, really good. All right, let's go ahead and open this trunk. So guys, this is the Grand Highlander. The space is incredible in here. Look at it right here. This is with your third row up. Now, you can actually fit seven carry-on bags back here. There's plenty of room back here. I'm amazed with this with the third row up. This is, this almost feels like it's um, like a, a RAV back here with just two, mm -hmm. two rows in the front and then you would have this much space basically. Right, exactly. And you've got your JBL back here too. Yes. Amazing sound system on this platinum. Look at all that space, jeez. Looks like you're in a bus. Yeah, it's incredible. So you guys, if you want to go ahead and set your third row seats down, all you gotta do is push that. And then if you want to set this side down too, all you do is pull that up and push. And then while we're back here, Kenny, I'm gonna show how you actually lift the seats back up. Okay. So you have these little tethers here. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is pull, 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 and then it hooks back. And if you wanna recline the third row, pull on this again, and look at how it reclines. That's and Kenny, look at all the space that you still, you still got have. Seven, seven carry on bags, right? Yeah, yeah, it might Which be a little tighter with that, but be. yeah. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got seven people, you got to have seven carry on bags. Yes. So go, on, go on your next vacation, right? Get to the airport, skip the lines, do the carry on. Exactly. Yeah, this thing is laid way back. It's almost laid like back like a middle row seat. I can't believe mm -hmm. how much of inclines on that. Yeah, I agree. All right, so going back to front with this vehicle, kind of a little different way to attack this video. Uh, we were already back in the back, but I just want to show you just from the side. This is amazing. How much space you already saw the third row back there with all the storage. So uh, let's show off this back row here. Not yeah. the last row, just the second row. Just the second row, exactly. So like Kenny had said, it's absolutely beautiful. You know, I'm putting that camera in there. I mean, these seats are very comfy. 
you do have your little cup holders here. You can even put iPads in there, books. There's a ton of space for that. If you look up, you have a panoramic sunroof. Absolutely That's gorgeous. Huge. It yeah. is huge. And you, we are gonna have heated and cooled seats in the back. You're gonna have your USB-C fast chargers. You have your 120 volt down there as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, they don't short any details or luxury on this platinum trim. I no. think you found something earlier I didn't know about. Yeah, so I'm gonna get in here real quick and then actually show you guys how much space I have. All right guys, so I am sitting in the second row. I wanted to show you how much space you actually do have. So I am 5'7", relatively tall for a girl, but I have a ton of leg room. I have a ton of head room. And these seats recline as well, like I had mentioned on the third row. So all you do is lift this, and that's pretty comfy. You can take a um, nap back there. Yeah, right, you could, exactly. Have someone drive, take a nap. But the one thing Kenny had seen, um, that he had mentioned, this can actually come off. So then you guys have a walkable space that you could walk in that middle. And then this just slides right back on. Or even for the person that's sitting in the middle spot to stretch out their legs in between. Yeah, that's, that's a good point too. So guys, how do you get to the third row? Let me show you. There is this little thing right here on the shoulder. You're gonna pull that up and this moves forward. And I'm gonna get back there so you can see exactly how much space we do have. All right, so, you know, being in the third row, I feel like I have plenty of space. Like I had said, I am 5'7", and my head is not touching. Guys, I can't say that for the other Highlander, which I still love, but the Grand Highlander is definitely grand. Now, you do have cup holders over here on each side. You've got USB-C charger on this side, one on that side as well, and it's, it's really comfy. Can't complain. No, and this is the seat that we had reclined earlier. And just look at the difference of how much the difference angle there is over your shoulder from just the one that's reclined by. Mm -hmm. You've also got vents back here. Yep, uh, right up here. And you have a little reading light as well. Oh, and I have to mention one more thing, guys. So the other Highlander in the third row, I know a lot of people have said it kind of felt claustrophobic. I am one that gets really claustrophobic. But with this Grand Highlander, they made the windows bigger. So these are actually, you can see more space out. So that is a great thing if you have adults or kids that have to be in the third row. All right, so this is the part, I guess we're all been waiting for, right? That front seat, your driving seat. So the front is absolutely beautiful. You do have wood grain around your door and throughout the front. You got the grand Highland on your stamp down here as well with your all weather mats. You do. And that's a 10 way power adjustable driver's seat, I think. It and is. I think it's eight way on the passenger. It Yes, that is new. And now it is standard 12.3 inch touchscreen, which is great. You're also gonna have wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. So no more cords, that is amazing. We're cutting the cord inside the Grand Highlander. <laughs> we are, it. guys. And you're also going to have the heads-up display as well. So for your driver, perfect. I think we show so many videos, and it's always from the driver's point of view. But what about <laughs> our passengers over here? What kind of fun stuff do we have? Well, we've got a USB right here in the door, or right here in the dash. We've got plenty of ample storage over here on the side compartments as well. And we've got a secret little cubby pocket down here. <laughs> I don't know. Put your chips in there, maybe something like that. I love it. Um, Gabby, let's show this thing off. Yeah. All right, guys. So first off, you are going to have your heated steering wheel with the button right here. We're not going to want to use it right now because it is summer, but fall, winter, that's going to be really nice. Um, you're also going to have heated and ventilated front seating, and those buttons are right here. You're going to have that for your driver and for your passenger. Yay, passenger gets more toys. I know. And we'll also have your dual temperature controls too. So amazing things for the driver and for the, for the passenger. You're going to have your 360 degree camera right here. So that'll pull up all around your vehicle. We needed that a couple of times because while we've been shooting this video, we have been people walking around yeah. us constantly. When are y'all going to be done? When are you going to be done? When are you going to be done? <laughs> they want to see it too. Yes, yeah, very popular, um, but rightfully so, definitely. Um, and again, you guys, we have a wireless charging pad right here. You are going to have your USB ports. You are going to have your button right here to start and stop the vehicle. And you're going to have a ton of space for, I mean, cups. Look at this huge one right here. 
That's the big gulp plus two. Yeah, right, exactly. And then you've got two little ones over here as well. Um, and then let's move up here real quick. So you do have your rear camera, but this one, if you flip this, it is the digital. So that is really nice. If you're, you know, you have a boat behind you or something that um, you cannot see. Oh, why don't we go ahead and move down because this is something new for the Grand Highlander. All your different driving modes are going to be right here, kind of in your armrest. So you're gonna have your snow. Hill descent over there. Mm -hmm. yep. And then here I can show you, so we've got our normal, and then we can do our mud and sand. That's cool. Right? We have rock and dirt. We have our sport, that one's fun, yeah. red, I'll be using that. And then we have our eco as well. So all of those buttons are right here in your armrest. I wanna push a button, see what this snow button does. Is it gonna oh. make it snow? <laughs> no, but it does bring up a little snow button just stating that that is on. So that's cool too. Toyota, if you could make it to where it would just snow, it's oh. hot here in Kentucky in June and I'm already over it. So <laughs> I love maybe, that. Maybe improvement on the next version. Right. Oh, okay. So armrest. So this is your armrest. Yes. But it's got a little window. So if you push that back, you are going to have your big compartment in here. So you can put a she lot of a goodies. Lot of space. Yeah. Like look at my arm is all the way down and that comes up to about here. So it's really deep. Um, so that is going to be nice to, to hide your stuff. And lastly, guys, we didn't really touch on the beautiful interior color, but it's in the light gray leather. It is beautiful. And when I say it is so soft and plush, it reminds me of like sitting in a lazy boy. You know, you remember mm -hmm. lazy boys, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's really, really comfortable. So on any sort of little trip around the city or a long trip to Florida, 15 hours, I think you're going to be um, really comfortable. The good news is we have more in our pipeline right now. So mm -hmm. you can check oxmoortoyota.com, see what we have in, talk to our people on staff. Our BDC are great with looking and seeing what you can't even see yet. Lots of options in the sure. XLEs, Limited, and Platinums in the hybrid and gas. Yeah, right, exactly. So yeah, if you guys have any, any questions, please feel free to let us know. We'd be more than happy to assist you. All of our contact info is listed right here. Thank you so much guys for watching. We really appreciate your support and we'll see y'all soon. Bye.